Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for being here. My name is Andrew, coming to you from beautiful Costa Rica. Today's topic is going to be the narcissistic relationship is exhausting. Yes, if you like the content, please subscribe. Thank you very much. Guys, when you're in a narcissistic relationship, now it can be, again, it can be the neighbor, it can be your coworker, it can be romantic, it can be a, a brother, sister, whomever. It can be a three hour uh, airplane ride flight, sorry, somewhere, and maybe you're sitting next to one. The whole point is this. The narcissist relationship, or when you're with one, these, these relationships or experiences are extremely exhausting. They drain your energy from you. And think about it for a moment and just reflect, like maybe you're sitting next to a narcissist right now on a bus or in a seminar or anywhere. <laughs> maybe your spouse is a narcissist. My point is, if you really think about it, the energy that we have, that you have, and that I have, and even the narcissist, the energy you can feel, you can, you can feel someone's presence. Like if somebody walks in a room, you, you, can, you can sense energy, or at least I can. If you're an empath, you can sense people's energy. Um, and actually, I can do that very well. It's a, it's, it's a superpower that I've rediscovered. The point is, is a narcissist drains your energy. They, their, their goal is to do that. That's why they're energy vampires. But being around a narcissist, it is so exhausting because you have to put up with them. You have to try to appease them. Or maybe, maybe you're just going gray rock and maybe you're not appeasing them and maybe you want nothing to do with them, but you still have to switch gears and tune them out. And that takes energy. So it's not just like you're, you're with the narcissist and it, you know, if you, you pacify them, you give them a lollipop and then they're happy and then you move on. No, it, first of all, that won't happen. And I was being a little sarcastic there, but my point is that won't happen because if you appease the narcissist, even for a short period of time, what's gonna happen? That's right, they're gonna need you to do something else for them because the supply has already run dry. You see, they're on a constant quest for supply, always, and it's never good enough. When, when their tank is full of supply, the minute it, it reaches its, its threshold of fullness, it begins to diminish again and, and they, they, need it, they always need supply. So being with a narcissist is extremely exhausting in any capacity. Let's say you make plans. Let's say you're going uh, to dinner tonight with the narcissist. Again, it doesn't matter who it is. You're going and you have it all lined up. Every, the plans are ready, you have the reservations, everything's gonna be great. And then they change the plans at the last minute. You're like, what? what what's going on? We made these plans a week ago. Like, like it was hard to get the dinner table or whatever it is. And they just didn't, they didn't want to go. Now, do they have a good reason to not want to go? Probably not. They probably are just looking to get supply out of you again and have you, you know, be confused and like, you know, ruin your night. That's what the narcissist does. But also, let's pretend the narcissist doesn't even show up. And you're just like, wait, what's going on here? I thought we had dinner plans. See, this is exhausting. And it takes away from you and your, and your being and your focus and your energy and your drive. It really does. Once you understand that you're, you are in a relationship with a narcissist, no matter who it is, it could be the neighbor, it doesn't matter. You, you have to brace yourself and you have to understand, wow, okay, I'm going to this function today and will so-and-so be there, which is the narcissist? And if the answer is yes, you really need to plan for that. You really need, sincerely, think about it. You need to plan, okay, if I see them, what am I gonna do? Hopefully I don't see them. If they see me, how am I gonna react? What am I gonna say? This is like, it's like a game plan for a sports event. You know, you game, like team A is playing team B and team A needs a game plan to try and beat team, team B. That's what you need to do. Well, that's actually for a whole different video. But the point is you need to do this and it's exhausting. You see, if you're going to a function, you should just be able to go to the function and be yourself. Be real. If people are there, great. If they're not there, it's fine. You're indifferent. The point is you are attending the function and you are enjoying your time. That's how you're spending your energy at the function, whatever it is. But if you know there's gonna be a narcissist or narcissists there, and you have to plan for them, like, oh my goodness, I wonder if these people are gonna be there tonight, and you actually have to think about it, think of the energy it takes, think of how draining that is, and think about how exhausting it is to plan. Maybe when you really think about the, the function you're gonna to go to tonight, you say to yourself, wow, I don't even know if it's worth it. Yeah, I'd like to see these people, these people, you know, the, the good people, whatever, the people, your friends, but these people may be there, I don't know if it's worth it, and then maybe you don't go because it's just not worth it for you to go. I hope you follow that. These things happen every day. I don't know, if you really play the video and think about it and play this a couple times, you'll understand that these things happen. Maybe you never put your finger on it. Maybe you couldn't quite figure out why do I really have to brace myself whenever I see this one person? Maybe they're a narcissist. And maybe, flat out, it, they're just exhausting. 
They just take up your energy. You, you remember this, you know, there's always that, there's always a, a couple people in any, any workplace, any neighborhood, any um, school function, class, whatever. There's always a couple people that just suck the air out of the room. And you know exactly what I'm talking about. And those kind of people, you know, you can, you can avoid them or you can do what you, you know, you, you can protect yourself. But when it's a narcissist and it's a whole different level, and, and let's say they're trying to get supply from you because you were kind to them once or twice or nice to them or showed them that you're an empath and they are drawn to you like a moth to a flame, this can be exhausting. It really can. And it can actually change the direction of your day, any day. So let's get back to the romantic relationship for a minute. Remember the days of waking up and you're with the narcissist and maybe you had a good morning and you're like, oh my gosh, this is gonna be a great day. I wanna hold on to this for all I'm worth. So you started giving more and more because you wanted that day, let's pretend it's a weekend, and you wanted that day to, to carry on and you wanted to have a beautiful 24 hours with the narcissist and you're off to a good start. The first couple hours are great and you're like, oh my gosh, I can't believe this. It could be one of these days. Again, you don't know you're with a narcissist. You just know that your significant other, something, you know, they're not, something's not quite right with them, but today's a good day. So you wanna capitalize on it. You wanna make great memories and have a great time. And then the day goes on and, and everything's going well and it's getting better and you're like, oh my gosh. But think about how you're behaving. Are you being real to yourself? No, what you're doing is you're exhausting yourself because you're putting your energy into the situation and trying to maintain a smooth and good relationship. That's not healthy, it's not natural, it's not normal, it's not. That is how I lived for six years, but I'm explaining to you, if you find yourself in that situation, it's completely not natural. What you want to be doing is waking up with, with your significant other, whoever it is, and you're just be. Everything's fine. If you didn't do the dishes today, it's okay. If the bill was gonna be paid a couple hours late, no problem. If you didn't do the laundry, whatever, we'll do it tonight. It's fine. I'm not suggesting be lazy. I'm not saying that at all. Absolutely not. You should get up and do things. Meditate. Go for exercise. Do, it. do all these things. But my point is, it's not the end of the world if everything isn't in perfect shape, perfect condition, 24 hours, 7 days a week. So it can be exhausting. It can be exhausting if you're with a narcissist, especially if you live with one. Because you never know what you're going to get. You never know what mood they're gonna be in. You never know what is gonna set them off. You never know when the next rage fit's gonna be. You never know when you'll be invalidated, gaslit, given the silent treatment, stonewalled, all of these things that the narcissist does know they're doing, by the way. They 1,000% know they're doing. They just wanna control the narrative and control you and to get supply out of you. Remember, you may not have known this. I didn't know it in my whole relationship. I didn't even know what narcissism was till after the discard. And thank goodness I figured it out and here we are on the channel and thank you for being here, by the way. But I'm explaining to you, it's exhausting. And let's say, hypothetically, that you're with the narcissist. Again, let's just use a romantic or brother-sister in the family. And they go away for a few days and you're like, oh my gosh, this is unbelievable. Do I miss them? Yeah, of course you miss them. But you're like, I can actually put my feet on the table. I can actually eat what I want to eat. I can actually, oh my God, I can do so many things. I can watch a documentary and enjoy it, I can, oh my God. And it's not exhausting. And that's when you put your guard down and you relish the fact that you have your freedom. Now, when you're in a narcissistic relationship, you may not realize that you're like, wow, what is this? Like, I feel so light. I feel so free and so just full of energy and, and positivity when the narcissist isn't around me. And then when they get home, I'm on high alert again. Like, what's going on? I don't know, okay, what am I gonna do? Uh, is everything okay? Yeah, okay, yeah. That's what, that's what living with a narcissist is like. It's exhausting. It doesn't stop. And you may think, well, Andrew, you know, my, the narcissist I was with wasn't really like that. They were. If you're really honest and genuine with yourself, you gave and gave and gave, and they took and took and took, which is exhausting because you never had downtime to just be yourself. You never had time to just do what you wanted to do. Why? Because the narcissist was in control of the narrative of you and of the relationship. And if you didn't do what the narcissist wanted, really think about this. If you didn't do what they wanted, you would be invalidated and you would be told that you're less than and treated poorly, rage fit, all the things you do wrong, all the nonsense the narcissist would dump on you. So what did you do? That's right, you did everything you possibly could to please the narcissist, to maintain a relationship that was level. Notice I didn't say healthy relationship because there is no such thing with a narcissist. At the time you thought there was one, there wasn't. But the thing is, it's exhausting to, to actually have to be somebody that you're not naturally. Now again, you may say, well, Andrew, wait, the narcissist wears the mask. That's gotta be exhausting. It is, 
It's extremely exhausting for the narcissist. But the beauty of you is you're not a narcissist because you don't have to wear a mask. You're just being yourself and being beautiful. Again, thanks for being here. My point is for you, the exhausting part is that you need to appease the narcissist to maintain a relationship. With the narcissist and wearing the mask, which, and I don't wanna get off track, yeah, that's exhausting for them, but that's the life they chose. The, the, the life they chose is one of invalidation, of manipulation, destruction, cruelty, devastation, and just self-loathing. It's disgusting the way they live, and it really is. So I don't feel bad for the narcissist. I never have and I never will. They, are peop they, are, they ruin people's lives. But getting back on track with you, it's exhausting when you're in a relationship and you don't realize it's with a narcissist to have to placate to them and to have to be the best version of yourself for the relationship or for the narcissist. And you understand the whole time, it's a one-way street. They are not accommodating you. They don't care about you and they let you know it very clearly, but you can't wrap your head around it. You're like, wait, I'm a kind, loving, beautiful person and I'm giving to this relationship all the time. This person isn't, but I'm gonna work harder. I'm gonna try and maintain the relationship. And it's the, one of the pitfalls of a narcissistic relationship. It's what happens, it's what happened to me. And then as time goes by, you realize, wow, this isn't right, this isn't healthy. I'm just giving so much, I'm just, this isn't fair, I don't get it. And then one thing leads to another, you research and here we are. But I'll, guys, I wanted to, to let you know that it is exhausting to be with a narcissist in any capacity. And if you feel yourself, uh, if you find yourself not being authentic or being able to be yourself around a certain individual, maybe you should think about removing them from your life. I understand if it's a, if it's a brother, sister, or mom, dad, or something, but you can still gray rock. So think about that. Guys, I hope you liked the video. I love doing it from beautiful Costa Rica. This is Andrew. God bless you. Namaste. Please enjoy yourselves. Have a great day. God bless you. I love you all. I'll talk to you soon. And no more are we going to be exhausted with the narcissist. They're gone. Goodbye. I love you guys. Bye.